Hello and welcome to the Dolphin Star Temple. Palladian Lightwork, um, beautiful Facebook page. And uh, the Dolphin Star Temple, I'm Mish um, from the Dolphin Star Temple. I'm a board member on the Dolphin Star Temple. And oh, I just can't see where people are putting their comments. Oh, Julia, hello, lovely. How are you? <clears throat> that was a little bit of a different setup today, so I was a little bit um, bamboozled in setting up my video. It's Facebook have changed a few things, so it took me a little bit longer to get on today. Um, but I just wanted to have a chat to you about the Dolphin Star Temple just for a moment. The Dolphin Star Temple is situated over in Mount Chester in California. We have Cherie there who runs our office and she manages everything for us. So you may have actually spoken to her or had any connection with, you might've had some connections with Cherie. Cherie's um, looks after all of our crystals as well. And they are just the most magnificent crystals that are brought in from Namibia and they are truly incredible. So if you wanted to have a look at some of those, you can probably see some posts that Cherie has done where you can obtain a crystal. I actually have one of my super sevens here working with me today. So it's a crystal that has a phantom in it that looks like Quan Yin. And yeah, it's truly absolutely divine. So I want to thank you all for coming on board today. As you know that I have been doing a four part series on the actual body. We are made up of many pieces of ourselves. So we have mental, emotional, spiritual, etherical, physical. We have the astral body. Um, there are just many parts to us that make us up into a whole. So recently when I've been doing my meditations, I decided to look at working with just each part of the body um, that make us up as a whole. And today I'm going to work on the mental body. So I just want to welcome you in to the Dolphin Star Temple. Uh, my name is Mish. I'm from Australia, um, from Evolvers One down in Australia in Victoria. So welcome aboard. Um, I think just to get set up and started, we might just set space first and then I just want to see what actually comes up, see um, who comes in and who wants to channel with me today and we'll see how we go. But today we are working on the mental body and yeah, we're going to be clearing some stuff on the mental body today as well. So if you'd just like to get yourself comfortable and organized and settled in your seat and just start off with taking a few deep breaths. Just bringing yourself into awareness of your own being. Okay. So just... Um, Breathing in, exhaling out. Just bringing everything into be here, all parts of me, right here, right now. So you're calling all parts of you back into this center space, into the center in your heart. So if you focus on your heart, and when you say to yourself, be here, you are calling all the aspects in of yourself, wherever they've been for the morning or the day or the evening, right here, all parts of me, right now. Be here all parts of me right here right now and as you breathe in and you fill up your chest just notice your shoulders as you drop them as you breathe out bringing all your awareness into your heart 
And we might just set a bit of space here. If you know how to do your roses or set your own space, if you've been going through the Palladian light work book, the workbook, the Divine Car. I actually have that book not with me at the moment, but it is an excellent book to to get to have a look at some of the different processes that you can do to actually hold your energy field. So we're just going to tune into our auric field now. And just breathing in, tuning into your aura and just expanding it out until it's about two to three feet out from your body at arm's length. So as you breathe in, just expand it out. And you may find, some of you may find your aura is way out there. And so I just would, it would be great if you can pull that back in just to two feet, two to three feet all around you. If you're sitting in your own space or your own room, you can extend your aura out a bit further. So just make sure that you're intending that expands out above your head, two to three feet, and also below your feet and behind your body. And just use your intention. And then just bring your attention down to the very bottom of your aura. There is a chakra here called the Earth Portal Chakra. Uh, this chakra here is a beautiful chakra to just open up. So just hold your intention. You're going to open that chakra. And we're going to invite in the, the Lords of the Rainbow Flame to come and just do a cleansing on our aura first. So we're just going to bring those beautiful being in, just welcome them in. We'll just ask the Lords of the Rainbow Flame to just cleanse our auras. <clears throat> so when you do this, you just visualize this beautiful rainbow flame coming up through the center of your body with one breath. And with the out breath, you expand it out through the body, the aura and the hologram. So just hold that intention. And as you breathe in more flames, it expands the flames further and further. strengthening. We want to hold the intention here that we are cleansing and clearing anything that you do not need to know about, any energy that is not yours and doesn't belong to you. So just breathing in that beautiful rainbow flame, continue to expand it out and hold in your mind that you are cleansing and clearing. And just slow your breath down. And just breathing in a little bit more oxygen. And slowing the out breath down as well. Cleansing and clearing. Let's bring these flames, while they're still burning in the aura, into each of the chakras. So either blowing those flames into the base chakra, the root chakra, or sucking them into the root chakra, allowing it to connect, 
holding the intention that you are cleansing and clearing that base chakra. While that continues to burn, just bring your attention now to the sacral chakra and just breathing those beautiful rainbow flames in there, cleansing and clearing. And then while that continues to burn there, bringing your attention now up into the solar plexus. And expanding those flames into the solar plexus. Cleansing and clearing. And then just moving up to the heart and drawing the flames into the heart chakra, cleansing and clearing here. Now bringing your attention up to your throat chakra. Drawing the flames in here, cleansing and clearing. Bringing your attention to the third eye. Drawing in the flames. Cleansing and clearing.
And to quieten the mind, to give the mind a break and to be in present moment can sometimes be challenging when we have lots of thoughts on or there's lots of things to do or have things completed, particularly at this time of year. People are preparing for the holiday season, trying to finish things off or wrap things up. So there can be a hive of activity in the mental mind, along with the connection of the mass consciousness and the thoughts that may also be in the field around you. And thoughts attract thoughts. Often, thoughts get momentum on a very specific vibration. And as it gets momentum on a vibration, it can direct you into other vibrations or other thoughts. So today, when we go into our meditation, we are going to clear some of the momentum of thoughts that are not necessarily sitting in our highest of good. We'll clear pictures as well that can accumulate with thoughts. And just come back into alignment with it with where we want to be heading. So I'm going to set up Dolphin Star Temple Space now. So I call forth the High Council of the Dolphin Star Temple to come forth and to bring with you the 27 crystalline pillars of light to be placed around each and every one of us doing this meditation. To anchor in and around this space, creating a Dolphin Star Temple space of the highest divine truth and wisdom, divine unconditional love and harmony. Divine balance and compassion. Divine mercy, transmutation and transformation. Divine clarity, peace and joy. And divine beauty and radiance and divine innocence. Anything that is not of this energy or seeking this energy must leave now, so be it. I welcome in the Palladian Emissaries of Light who have been waiting here so patiently <laughs> for their invite. I welcome the Palladian Emissaries of Light, the Syrian Emissaries of Light and the Andronoman Emissaries of Light to put up the interdimensional evolutionary intergalactic cones of light above each and every person doing the meditation if they so agree. And to remain here throughout the time that each is needed. I welcome in Kuan Yin, the Goddess of Compassion. Amora Kuan Yin, Lord Metatron, Archangel Michael and the Legions of Light, the ancient Cherokee Indian tribes, the Elders, the Aboriginal tribes and the Elders. There are many tribes from around the earth, Lady Portia and Lady Nada, Isis and Osiris, Lord Melchizedek, Amma and Buddha, Ashtar and the Ashtar Command, and the Arcturian Temple Temple workers, and the Chiron Temple workers, and the Venusian Temple workers, Saint Germain and Saint Paul, Saint Francis, 
Archangel Raphael and Gabriel, Uriel and Ariel, Zedekiel, Jophiel, Shemuel, Sandalphon. So I'll just ask Archangel Michael, um, actually just before we do that, if there is someone you want to bring in for yourself or your support, or if you can also welcome in your Council of 12, 13, to be present with us today. Sophia is coming in as well and Athena thanks Athena she's going to be a part of our work today the goddess of destruction which she breaks down mental pat well mental patterns we'll be working on today so I'll just ask Archangel Michael now in the space is right for all to seal the space throughout this Dolphin Star Temple that is connected to everyone in their own Dolphin Star Temple spaces to clear all illusion for us so we may only see truth. Oh, and Mother Mary and Mary Magdalene who are coming in and Jesus to pour sacred waters in and throughout this beautiful, all of these beautiful Dolphin Star Temple spaces to make it a sacred space of higher learning and wisdom for us today. So be it, and so it is. Thought patterns are like constructs in the mind. When I see them on an energetic level, they are like grid patterns holding in different spaces of the brain or through the body, through the aura and through the hologram. There are many thought patterns I can feel that some are not just only your thoughts, but the influences of others and the thoughts of others that entwine with our own thoughts and create momentum of vibration. Sometimes this is a positive vibration for us and sometimes it's a negative vibration for us. So today I'm putting out the intention that we can clear any thought forms or mental anguish, uncomfortability, agitation that we have coming up so we can clear the way of being focused in our path. So to do this, the very first thing I can feel the Pleiades bringing in is a multi-dimensional thought, negative thought pattern, erasure chamber of light. A multi-dimensional negative thought pattern chamber of light to be anchored in and around us to just clear any negative thought patterns that you do not need to hold at this particular time. So if you can say with me, I call forth a multi-dimensional negative thought pattern, erasure chamber of light, around my body, aura and hologram now. And just breathe in And as you breathe out, 
holding the intention that it is clearing. The intricate patterns of thought that do not hold your highest of good. There's a little bit of grid work coming up. So if anybody's open to this, I'm just going to create. Uh, yeah, let's see that there. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm just going to hold a space for all those doing the meditation to just deconstruct some of these deeper patterns. And if you have thoughts coming up into your mind, when you see this thought, I want you to take those thoughts or just notice them. Any particular one that you really want to change can feel like a pattern of behavior, like a reaction to something. You know, sometimes we react to our children in anger. We react to our friends or our work colleagues or our boss. And often we are internally reacting. So we may not say anything. We may hold this within ourselves. We may not tell anybody about it, but the thoughts come up of judgment, fear, anger, justification is it feels like a really big one, justifying ourselves or justifying the behavior of others. This also moves into a thought pattern in the mental body. And when this thought pattern comes in, it holds us more locked into a grid work of us holding that pattern and we can get momentum on that. So I want you to just think about something you want to release today, a pattern or a behavior that you that plays out in your life. It might be jealousy. It might be a thought pattern of like, I can't get a job, I'm not worthy, or I can't heal myself. It may be a thought pattern or a fear pattern on what is happening on the earth right now. I don't know, there is uncertainty, so therefore there is fear. And that creates, like all of these thought patterns can create stories that we actually share with others. And when we tell that story, it gets more momentum and it creates an attraction of more of those thoughts. So when you decide or when you can see a thought coming up right now or a pattern that you would like to release within yourself, it may be a thought pattern that it's too hard to get my work done or there's so much for me to do that I just can't do it all, so I won't do anything. Just bring that thought pattern into the mind and see it in front of you, like a pattern that you would see lines or waves. However it's represented to you is okay. And just holding that pattern there and acknowledging that it exists in your conscious awareness. And then just saying out loud, I choose now to cancel this pattern, this vibration. So I can live in more alignment and divinity in my own truth and to be the sovereign being 
that I am. Now I want you to create something that can destroy that pattern that you're looking at. So using your imagination, you can place that whole pattern into a fire. You can cancel it with a canceled stamp. You can cancel, 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 cancel over the picture image of that. You can use the elements, fire, earth, water, air, whatever feels right to you. Just choose one of those techniques and cancel that pattern. And then we're going to bring forth like a a new alignment. So I'll just give you a few moments to do that first. Mm, you might have insecurities that come up. They're always great patterns, thought patterns to, to cancel and to remove. Once you have done that, just tune in now to the opposing, like the complete opposite of what that pattern was. I want you to take a visualization or an intention of the opposite of the mental thought pattern that you were just canceling. And that might look like feeling confident around others, seeing yourself holding your alignment and feeling comfortable. It might be a picture of harmony with family and friends or your partner, where you are holding strength within yourself. Remember, this is about you. It might be a dialogue with your a dialogue with your boss or your co-workers or your friends where you're holding unconditional love within your own heart and having an understanding of all sides of the story and that they are reacting to the love which is also breaking down their patterns. So find the exact opposite and create that field of energy. And that can look like a pattern in itself. It might look like an energy. It might look like a picture. And then I want you to take that picture or that energy pattern and place it into your crown chakra, allowing it to go down through the crown, connecting with the third eye so each chakra can feel the energy of this, connecting with the throat chakra and the speaking of this, the heart chakra with the love the solar plexus 
with the acceptance of the I am. The sacral chakra <clears throat> with the divine nurturing and the ability to deliver with grace and ease. And the base chakra to hold strength of value and the certainty And as each chakra has an imprint of this, just bringing it back up into the heart to create that field of energy in your auric field. Like you are now taking the mental thought, the vibration of energy into the heart and expanding that very fine vibration through your field. And then allow it to expand out past your vibrational field into the world where it can connect with more vibrational energy that is similar to that. Allowing that vibration to expand further and further across the earth. Holding the thought intention that you are now in your creative power. directing, owning the I am that I am, choosing to expand this thought throughout time and space. And feeling the totality of your beingness as large, sovereign, grand, just as all beings are. And taking a moment now to acknowledge yourself. And just saying out loud or in your mind, I am a divine being of light. 
I am a grand sovereign being that has the freedom to choose my thoughts. The freedom to direct my thoughts so I can experience higher vibrations that are in alignment with my divine essence in the I am that I am. I create thought. that brings self-acknowledgement of my divine beingness. So be it, so be it, so be it, so it is. So it is, so it is. When you are ready, just bring your conscious awareness back into your heart. And then into your full beingness in your body. And just taking a moment to thank yourself for stopping and just being with you. To actually acknowledge that you are here, present in this moment, here and now. And it's coming in that for some people, even when you're doing meditation, a lot of thoughts come up. It's okay that they come up. It's not a time to beat yourself up. You will notice when you are going on that trip of other thoughts, you will recognize it and notice it. And then you'll be like, oh, that's right, I'm doing a meditation. And you'll pull yourself back just allow the thoughts to pass by or if they're thoughts that you don't want then cancel them clear them right there and then there are many tools for clearing and you can make up your own tools if you need to there are lots of tools that I use today in this meditation uh, that is in the Palladian Lightwork courses So if you want to work more on that, you can always have a look at our courses online. And we have practitioners all around the world who can help you with that as well. If they're very specific things that you want to work on. Um, there's practitioners in all different countries you can access for a healing or a reading to have more insight into where you are or why you are or what thoughts that you're having and what's taking over in your life. So just remember, you can go back and play this video again to clear those major thought forms that come up. 
and just see what actually comes up. You might find you'll have some insight while you're clearing or some awareness. So if you need to, pause the video at different times and just tune in to what feels right for you. Explore it. The more understanding we have of ourselves, the more awareness we gain. And then through that, we have access to more abilities that we hold and we all hold the abilities. It's not one person or another. You know, many people who have been on healing journeys or who are doing healing have done a lot of work on themselves to get their abilities in movement. And you are the same, like we are all the same. We have, all of us have access to those abilities. There is no difference in our ability. We can all do everything. Just we are drawn to different parts in different ways. I want to thank you for coming in today and working with me in this meditation. I never know what's going to come up, so it's always an interesting ride. So I hope you enjoyed that beautiful meditation today and clearing of the mental body, the mental thoughts, and keep using those tools to continue to do that. I say goodbye with so much love in my heart for all of you dearly from my soul to yours. Have a wonderful Christmas and a prosperous new year. And may this year coming ahead for you be one that you direct your focus in for your highest of good. So you can get momentum on those thoughts and you can start creating what it is you truly desire and that you manifest it and bring it into your world. Love you all. Thank you for coming. Bye.